Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. The place is dead, just like the rest of Little Hope. We have a winner. Found a phone. Probably doesn't work. This could be our way out. Line's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Calm down, Can you Johnny stop boy. reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. What is that? Yeah, that's a disconnected phone ringing. What do you think? Answer it. Wait. Let's think about this. Answer the goddamn phone! Hey, come on! Be a man for once in your miserable life! Fine. Hello? Who is this? Who's on the line? I can't tell, but they sound in pretty bad shape. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. Do not hang up. This is our best shot at finding out what's going on here. I'm with you. We need to keep whoever is on the line talking. I can help you out. But first, you must calm down. Take a deep breath. Do you want me to help you out? What the f <laughs> Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Come now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best, will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. 
The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Let us conclude our business here without further ado, lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the...? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if sister. I am correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. What ails you? It must be so, if you are the one who bewitched her. I don't think I can take much more of this. I think it's almost over. You are in no danger. They are here among us! No! What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little <laughs> hope? Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Uh. Oh. How you doing? Not sure. That woman might double very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! Uh, we can't either! They must be locked! Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one... Oh, 
Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. Which trail? What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. This fog is getting worse. Daniel. You need to see this. What is it? You've been keeping your career as a guitar player under wraps? What the... How is that even possible? Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. I can't see for shit. <laughs> Jesus! The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Yeah, I'd say not. Okay? Who's first up? Huh. Professor? You keep telling us you're in charge, so... Okay. Sure thing. Is it safe to cross? Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, sixteen hundred and ninety two. We are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you.
I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. You must. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. <laughs> you cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poison from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Little Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child, my accuser. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reverence in your very face. Isaac. Tell you what I just saw. Give us a moment here, will ya? We've just gone through something pretty tough. Tough in what way? I need a moment. I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here.
Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. Well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. As the stakes seem to have been elevated, that gun might prove to be a lifesaver. Don't you think? Or the precise opposite? Andrew's keeping it quiet. Good move. Look after number one, right? The boys have some interesting theories. Maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? You're going it alone, brave, independent, possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. Wait! What in the name of holy fuck was that? I've never seen anything like it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? The gaping mouth, those dead soulless eyes? Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. We did. Thank God we're all okay. Right now, we're safe. You were going to tell me right now what happened to my bridge. You saw enough to work out the rest. Making me go through every tiny detail isn't gonna help us any. Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? They can't be far behind us. Let's just get out of here. Let's stay away from that bridge. I'm all for putting as much distance between us and that hideous thing as we can. Pretty sure Daniel and Taylor would be thinking the same thing. Out of sight, quick! It's the fucking bar guy again.
Best to keep out of his way, I reckon. We should talk about what the woman said before they drowned her. The little girl has to be stopped. Was she warning you or the people who were with her? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go. I'll go in and take a look around. How you doing? I'm wondering if that thing could be coming after us. Don't think it's coming after us. What makes you so sure? You and me gotta stay real close now. When you say close, how close exactly? Maybe not the best time for that kind of talk. Let's get this out of close? here first. A little closer. A little bit more. What's that? Nothing, probably. I heard something. I don't like this. I want to go another way. Don't think there is another way. Yeah, I don't think so. Quite the tourist trail. Not a place I want to revisit. Hey, over here. You gotta check this out. Oh man, that red look, bridge looks rickety. That thing could still be around here. In the water. No, we left that thing way behind. We must have. Shit. You're going first, right? You weigh half what I do. Better if you lead. I'm not crossing this crapped out bridge. No way. To find the others we gotta cross. We got no choice. Fine. I'm heading across. You can follow me. If the bridge is still standing. Okay then. Let's get out of here. Agreed. Daniel! Get your hands off us! Oh, wait. I'll pick you. Mary? Mary? Mary! I am over this way! Mary. The fountain of all evil is here. What? What evil? You know what's going on here? We sure as hell don't. You scared us half to death. You speak to me of death. This day, I have pulled my wife's body from a watery grave and buried her in the ground with my own hands. And all this because of her. Mary. Who in the hell are you? Why do you look just like John? I have no answers for you. Perhaps I'm already under a witch's spell. There it lies. I found it. How did you come by this? Fashioned with my own hand. I take it to protect you. Suspicion and betrayal walk side by side in Little Oak. No one is safe. Please.
Miss Tabitha. Let me keep here. 